Hi guys, in today's video I wanted to show you how to use the mono sequencer that comes free with Max for Live. The mono sequencer is a sequencer that has the ability to generate random patterns and ideas, which is really great if you're having a little bit of writer's block and can't come up with these yourself. So for this example I have just set up a simple drum kit with the beat, and in another track I've added a simpler, and I've just added a single TB303 sample, which you can see here. So nothing too flash. Now what I'm going to do is go to Max for Live and then go to Max for Live MIDI effect and in the drop down you will see Mono Sequencer. Just add that to the front of your simpler and now if I hit play you'll hear the sequencer running. Uh, in this window here at, to the left you will see we have pitch which means we can adjust the pitch or frequency of the note. Second window is the velocity or the note volume. The next is the octave, whether we go up or down the octaves of this note. Duration is how long this note plays for. And the last one is repeat, which allows you to repeat the note. On the right hand side here, we have our direction of the sequencer. So currently it's set to going up. We can also set it to go down. And you can see in this window that the sequencer is now running backwards. We can have up, down. and drunk and random. Now if you're creating a tune in a specific scale you can come down here and set it to the scale of your tune. So it's currently set to C but let's say we wanted it in A we could click that and then hit the conform to scale button. Now when we run it it is running in the key of A. Okay down here we have the random button and the random amount. The more you adjust this random amount, the more randomized your results are going to be. For now, I'll just double click it back to 25%. Okay, so now I'm just going to start playing and I'll hit this random button, remembering we're still under pitch, and we'll just come up with some ideas. So bearing in mind we have only adjusted the pitch, let's go down to velocity. I'll play again and hit the random button. So you can see that it now has adjusted the velocity of each note randomly. If you want to manually adjust all of these, you can just put your mouse cursor inside this window and whilst holding down your left button, just drag up and down or, or whatever you want. Okay, so the next one is Octave. Now if I want to just clear that, I can just again just drag that back. Maybe I'll just drag manually. Okay, that doesn't sound too exciting, but this is just an example. Next is Duration, this is the note length. Now you can see there's none here, I can just manually add some in. And let's go down to repeat. I don't use repeat too much, but it can have some interesting effects sometimes. Alright, I might just... You can just remove those manually again if you don't want them by uh, dragging across the window. Now another thing you can do is add a bit of swing. To do that just click on this swing button and then adjust your swing to suit. Obviously the more swing you have it may sound a little bit weirder. You can actually quantize your pattern over here if you like so let's just play it and I'll hit quantize and that'll just quantize it back up to the beat. Speaking of beat, over here on the right hand side you have your steps. So currently this sequencer is running at one phrase or four bars here, you can see 16 beats. Now if you wanted to have a little bit of a polyrhythm going on you could adjust that so it is not synced to like a phrase or a bar. So let's just basically make it uneven. Let's just go 13. Now if I play it again 
it won't sound as if it's in sync with the phrase, but that then generates some interesting random patterns and gives the overall tune a lot more movement. Now I notice that I'm still on random. I'm just gonna go back up to up for now. And you can see or hear that it is no longer running to the 16 steps or phrase. I'll just bang that back up to a uh, phrase. Okay, so be aware that this is currently just running live in the background of your tune. If you want to record it for further editing uh, over an arrangement view, all you need to do is just hit your tab button, which takes you to arrangement view. Let's add in an audio track. Now I'm going to drop the input type down to the instrument rack, which is where our simpler is. We're going to have the monitoring to in and we're going to arm. Now when I play this tune, you should see that the, um, the volume control here is listening to this instrument. Okay, now all we have to do is simply hit the record button and generate some patterns. And now let's just go back to auto. And if we solo that, you can hear that we've recorded in our sequence. It's a little bit quieter because by default, my audio channels are minus six dB. Okay, so that's the mono sequencer. As I said, it's a great way to generate interesting patterns and ideas that you can either use as a lead or just a random pattern that runs in the background of your music. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and we'll talk again soon.